Hey guys, this is Amjivet with another tutorial about how we can create a backup company file and restore it. Well, it's always a good idea of keeping a backup file of your company file so that if something goes wrong with your device or system, the backup file can save you from losing all your data. So, to create a backup company file in QuickBooks Desktop, select Create Local Backup under the File menu. It will open a small pop-up window where you will have two options to save your backup. Either you can select the online backup option where the QuickBooks company may charge you a monthly fee or you can create your backup in your local devices like other computer systems, CDs, DVDs or USB drives. Well, instead of creating online backup, I am selecting the local backup option to save it into my USB drive. Then click on options. Here. Click on this browse button to select your drive. And since I already have created a folder in my USB drive where I want to save my backup file, I can just expand it to see the folders available in the drive by clicking on this arrow button and then just click the folder and click on OK. Well, you can change the number of copies you want to save in this box by changing the figure here. And also keep this checkbox checked as it will add the time and date to the backup company file name which will help you distinguish whether which one is the recent one. Moreover, you can change to be reminded to backup your company file after every certain amount of time you close out of your QuickBooks. And I am keeping the verification option as it is and then click on OK and then Next. Well, if you are going to save it right away, just select the first option like I am going to. Or you should can select either of the other two options where you will also be able to schedule future backups and then click on next. Here you can see that the backup file type is QBB which stands for QuickBooks Backup. And then just click on save. It will run the backup and since the company file has no data into it, it will take barely a few seconds to complete it. After completing, it will prompt you that your backup file has been created. Here you can see that it has included the time and date because we kept the checkbox checked while setting up the backup file and it will also help us know whether which one is the recent one if we have more than one backup files on the same location. Anyhow, just click on OK and our backup file has been created. And here is the backup file. Moreover, just hover your mouse on the file and it will show you some info. And you can go to its properties by right clicking on it to see the file type and other info. Anyhow, since we have a backup file saved somewhere, let's see how we can restore it. Well, to restore a company file, select Open or Restore Company under the File menu and select the Restore a Backup Copy option here. And click next here select the option online if you have saved it online and since I have saved my backup file in my USB drive which I already have attached to my laptop I'm not changing the local backup option and then click on next here you need to make sure that you are looking for a backup company file with the file type QBB and then click on open and then next here you can see that the file type has changed from QBB to QBW which is a standard file type and I'm going to restore my backup file on my desktop and then click on save it will start restoring the file and will take more time if your file is too big and since there is no data into my backup file, it will take a few seconds to restore it. Now our company file has been restored. Now we can start working on it as usual. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there. And thanks for watching.